Wait a second. I'm Jesus. Hooray. They're running away from the police. The sirens are ringing and there's no way place to go. So you're hidden in the toilet. And what is the first thought that comes to your mind? The freaking sink is empty. And that's exactly what we're going to solve. So here is where we're up to for the last tutorial. Let's enter the edit mode with tab. And this is the um, the counter that we want to modify. So just right now it's a bit empty. So let's just change up a bit more detail using face select. Let's hit I to invert it a bit. And let's grab the vertex mode. And let's hit the two edge to the edge over here. And let's just grab this alongside the x-axis. There we go. And let's do the same for that one over here. Grab the G. G and then hit X alongside the x-axis. Nice. So now I just want the outside ones. Actually, I want an inside one. I think inside looks nice. So let's hit E to screw this upwards. Okay. Uh, let's go a bit, a bit more. Hit G and then Z. There we go. Hit S. Let's hit E to make to make another loop cut. So there's another second. There's a second line over here. And then now we can have S while interrupting the original surface. Okay. That looks pretty okay. Um. This part sticking out of it, so let's quick let's quickly just click here, click the, click the edge mode, hit G and the Y and then the X axis. Same this one, hit hit the edge over here, G, then X. Nice. Select face mode, select the whole face, and now let's it through the it through the upwards one more time. Hit E, then there we go. Now we have a pretty interesting shape going on over here. This bit is a bit um inwards, so let's select this face, G, then Y, to grab it this side. Nice. So now I want to make the actual sink. Let's hit I to go inside of it, inwards, insect. Now with this face selected, E, down, bit. Rotate over here with shift, you can move around nicely. Hit edge mode, click over here to this edge. G to grab and long side to the axis. Maybe it's a bit high. Make sure it's never too perfect. Okay. So let's introduce a new tool. Let's go to the knife tool. Great knife, nice. Go over here, get a close look. Hit K. Knife. Let's go. Hit in this corner. And then. Actually, no, that's a terrible angle. Let's just zoom out a bit more. That's a that was a terrible angle. I know I didn't know what I was thinking. So stab it over here and stab it over here. And this basic can and this basic acts like a loop cut and creates a different surface we can use. We just cut that shape into half. Nice. Let's just screw that one inwards. And there is looking pretty nice. So the water's gonna drop over here as it gets pushed downwards. So there's no need for like drying stuff like that. So I'll be creating one soon. So that's a pretty nice, thing, nice looking counter. Let's go over here. And then let's create the piss area. And that's where you can put it. Shift, um, right click. Let's summon a cube. A cube is pretty, it's cute. A cube is pretty closest thing, closest thing looking to a piss area. So let's do that. There we go. G to grab alongside the, the Y axis. Put close to the wall, scale it in alongside the y-axis to get a bit more skinnier. Yeah, maybe that's a bit too much. Scale alongside the x. And that's pretty, pretty okay. Let's enter tab mode. Yes, use vertex select. And if you look at a reference picture of a single piece area, it sort of looks like this um, angle over here. Tilt it. Select, select this one. G. And then. Um, why? Boom, over here, so that gives you a generalized looking shape of it. Uh, and we also want a top open because you don't want to pee on it, and this one doesn't want to leak it. I know that's a toilet cleaner, so let's delete this. Del. And then, um, dissolve faces. Or just del, del or just hit faces. Yeah, nice. And now let's do something called a modifier. So let's go over here. Modifier to a tool looking thing. Screw looking thing, add a modifier, and let's go subdivision. If I can find it, subdivision, and there we go. 
And what that basically does is just it tries to make all the lines that you created, all the vertices, vertices, and I've had it um smooth it out. Um looking pretty ugly. So it also looks two dimensional right now. It looks like really obvious of a looks like a really obvious cut. So let's add some mod sort of fire on it. Solid fire and that basically adds solid solid to it as 3D models as, as a thickness to it. Let's do that. To tab and then let's add some loop cuts, add some geometry to it with some loop cuts. Loop cut over here. Let's drag it over here actually. Mm, let's let's do a loop cut over here. Drag it over here to make it look solid on here. Loop cut over here to the top and let's drag it on this side. And that's coming together pretty nicely. Let's loop cut over here. A bit more. Like one more time. A loop cut over here to add a bit nicer. Loop cut on the middle to the top to add a bit of smoothness. And up one more time on the loop cut over here down the side. And that will just make it look all nice and fluffy. If you want to add a bit more detail on it, you can just select um, the middle, this middle part with Alt, selecting all the sides of it, and just hit S. And you can also rotate a bit of it to add a bit more, um, a bit more shape to it. And you, can, you can do some pretty good stuff with this. And there you go, a bit more shape. And we just want to pull this line out a bit. G then Y. Actually, I just want to hit O. To turn off um turn off this one and this basically add as as an influence area and just use scale, use your mouse wheel to scale in the bubble which of the influence area and just hit G then Y and that will influence area so there we go pretty damn nice and that creates a really simple uh, creates a really simple toilet piece area and let's move it up a bit with G then long the, the um, C axis. So let's create duplicates of that one as a modifier and hit array modifier to duplicate. So here's the count relative. So let's just hit that away. And this is the amount of gap between each of them. And let's increase the amount to about. That looks alright. And let's just G, then Z over here. And there we go. And that. It's the piss area and also um also a hand washer done. So thanks for coming and see you guys next time.